the river was flooded. So we tied a rope to the pipe that start kind of wake surfing in the waves. It was all fun and games until it wasn't. As I got out, the rope slip knotted around my ankle. Now in this position with a raging current coming this way, every time I tried to lean up to release my ankle from the rope, the current pushed me back under the water. I was being pushed lower and lower. I couldn't get out to breathe. Uh, it wasn't until I eventually gave up and my body relaxed that <clears throat> I got one more breath and then went down again. It was in that struggle that I believe I twisted uh, my spine and crushed one of the vertebrates. I currently have a hemi vertebrae, which is a wedge-shaped vertebrae uh, in my T10, which has caused an 85 degree scoliosis in my spine. Now, it didn't happen instantly. It happened over the next few years after that. And I actually felt more of the pain in my leg because this leg was trapped this way and this leg was being kind of pulled this way. So I actually felt quite a, a a tear in my groin. Uh, I didn't really feel it in my back, but over the next few years is when I really started uh, experiencing that curve in my back. You're probably wondering, how did I get out? Well, everyone was kind of doing their own thing and playing around on the, on the pipe in the river. And one friend who, again, didn't know I was even in trouble, started to tightrope on the rope that I was trapped on. And with his weight and my weight pulling the rope, the rope actually snapped and I was released. I went down the, down the stream, got out. <gasps> I was in shock. I was happy. I, no one even realized uh, what had happened so they couldn't share in the joy. Nothing like a near-death experience to make you realize we've only got one life. So what's the moral of the story? Learn how to tie better knots or pay the price.